Hey everyone, how's it going today? Lamar here, and welcome back to yet another episode of Final Fantasy XIV. We are here, what I believe to be the last episode, so we have just like a few more quests, just like a small handful that shouldn't take too much time, and then we'll hit the final cutscenes. So if you'll just bear with me, let's get it started. Come, but not gone. A hero must go where she is needed, and according to Minfilia, you are needed elsewhere. We'll go on ahead, Nia. Pray join us once matters at the quicksand are resolved. Give my regards to Mamodi and let her know that I will call upon her Anon. Okay, um... Hmm, I'm actually, I'm going to switch over to my Scholar just because I like the way it looks a little bit more as far as our character and the cutscenes go. Uh, I wish I didn't have the glasses on, but it's just something that we'll have to deal with. I'm going to eat an egg, I guess. I don't really think I need to, to be honest with you. I guess we'll summon Selene. Uh, I don't think there's any battles at this part, so if we just go to the quicksands, unfortunately I'll need to fast travel to the central main Aetheric Plaza and then just run there. So if you'll just give me half a sec, I'll meet you back when we get there. Uh, the Adventures Guild is actually a really good place to go, and I won't need to worry about running. So we'll just kind of sit here together. Uh, we are hitting the final episode. This is it. Um, there will be a lot of cutscenes. You may have noticed by the timestamp alone how long this one goes. So just be prepared for it. I, I honestly recommend that you just get the snacks. It's, uh, it's quite the ride. Uh, I enjoyed it exponentially, so I hope you will as well. But first, we need to get these quests done. I appreciate you dropping by in such a short notice, Nia. I know you've got places to be, so I won't waste your time. A friend with, uh, you're friends with the Crystal Braves by the name of Elaine, aren't you? A former adventurer? Come to think of it, I'm pretty sure you recruited her yourself. Well, anyways, she came round for a meal not long ago, and before she left, she asked me to give you a message. Said if the others ended up dragging you to the feast, I was, I was to see you got it before you made your grand entrance. Said if the others ended up dragging you to the feast. Oh, this is okay. Uh, meet me at the... Oh, message. Okay, I thought she meant like food. I was like, why? Anyways, meet me at the station west of the coffers and coffin. There's something I must show you. A short message I'll grant you, but she thought long and hard before picking those words. Barely touched her food, too. Under the other circumstances, I'd have thought those signs, uh, those signs of a troubled heart, but something tells me she ain't planning to ask your thoughts on a gentleman caller. Okay. Um, before we go too much further, we need to do a minion roulette real quick. And, oh, hello, Odin. How are you? All right, let's go and see if we can find a nice little teleport. And I guess we'll uh, go see what Aileen wants. All right, shouldn't be too far of a, of a hike here. I think we have to follow the train tracks here, if I'm not mistaken. Because uh, it's a little bit up above. So don't make the mistake and go down below. Because I think there are two different paths you can take. One down below to get to the next area, and then one up here. Yeah, because if you go over there, that's how you get to the next area, but we want to come up here. Alright, let's dismount. What's that? Is that a bottle? Huh, a flask of some sort. As you stand upon the platform, your thoughts begin to wander, and all too soon the ghosts of the comrades lost and enemy slain begin to fill your mind's eye in solemn uh, procession. Clearing your head, you scan the horizon, but see no sign of Elaine. Did we just get stood up? Straining your ears to listen, you hear the chatter of Kokirin and the buzzing of Silfrids? Silfrids? Seifrids? Yeah, uh, but no approaching footfalls. Sighing, you bow your head, only to notice the vial laying at your feet. Faint light? What the heck is that? Nia, is that you? What brings you out this way?
Oh, hey, it's this guy. Um, he was uh, the corrupt wood whaler guy that we uh, had brought in. Uh, apparently reformed now. Lieutenant Lelaine. Why no, I haven't seen her about. Had she come this way, I guarantee we would have crossed paths. I must have put, uh, passed this spot a dozen times. We are to patrol the city's environs on account of the royal banquet. Captain's orders, you understand. Speaking of which, isn't it about to begin? You should be with the other honored guests, enjoying your well-deserved respite. Aye, pray return to Ulda, Nia. If I chance to meet the lieutenant, I will tell her you were here. So I was dragged out here because I think something else is going on during the uh, banquet. Uh oh. Oh god, okay. Here we go. He's a traitor again? Dang it, dude. I thought I gave you the chance. I gave you the benefit of the doubt that maybe you had reformed your ways. Oh, Salton Tree, hallowed spirit of my line. Through my weakness, the glorious house of Ul has all but disappeared beneath the sands. For want of the strength to raise it up again, it were better that it fall. Forgive me, but I know not what else to do. Okay, I guess we'll go back to the quicksands. Hopefully someone has some answers here for us. Because that was freaking annoying. I think they're just trying to draw us away. Alright, uh, quicksand, quicksands. I mean, if, if I'm away from the party while everyone else is getting introduced, their plans can go according to however they want because the Warrior of Light's not there to stop them. It makes the most sense, right? I'd reckon you would head straight for the feast after the meeting with, El with Elaine. What's the matter? No appetite? Uh, I found this. Cloud vial. This tiny glass container appears to have been used before, but the contents of what, pray tell. Okay. So she wasn't there, but this was, eh? Let's see. Hmm, looks to me like an alchemist vial, but beyond that, I can't say. Might be best if you hold on to it for safekeeping, though. Anyway, no use worrying about Elaine. I'm sure she'll turn up before too long, and when she does, we'll soon find out uh, what this was all of in aid of. Yeah, weird sentence. Besides, you got more important things to think about. That I do, like a party. The parting glass. Judging by Memorial's grin, your star could not rise any higher. Would you believe that while you were away, another message arrived for you? Well, one did. One delivered by the Sultana's handmaid, no less. Seems her grace desires a private audience. Her handmaiden will meet you at the Royal Pomenade and escort you to the Sultana's chamber. So, what are you waiting for? Go on, then. Go. You needn't trouble yourself, so. Your grace is most kind, but it is no trouble to me, rather an honor. If your grace is ready, I shall summon the warrior of light. I am. Everyone looks to be in high spirits. With good cause. A common victory may serve to unite even the most unlikely of allies. You've brought us one step closer to a united Eorzea. 
Your modesty knows no bounds, antecedent. Were it not for your efforts, Sir Emmerich would never have become such a steadfast ally. When he convinces his countrymen to rejoin the Alliance, we shall all reap the benefits, military and economic. I tell you, we are on the cusp of a new era of unity and prosperity. Territorial disputes are all that divide us now. But I have faith that we will find an amicable solution in time. And failing that, I'll have my trusty warrior of light box the ears of all concerned. Speaking of whom... She will be joining us shortly. A matter at the quicksand required her attention, but it did not sound serious. Alright, so we need to go to the Royal Pomenade now and meet with the Handmaiden. Uh, let's see if we can get our bearings here, if I can get out of here first. I'm going to hit the Aetherite and transport myself there. That's not the way to go. I've actually never gone out that door, surprisingly. I didn't know there was a, a load zone there, to be honest with you. Seems like an odd one, but hey, whatever. Alright, Royal Pomenade, Royal Pomenade. Chamber of Rule, I mean. Okay, um, when we get to this point up from here, when we talk to the Handmaiden, just be warned, this is the point of no return. It will give you a warning, but you cannot go back from here. You'll be roped into a series of cutscenes uh, without pretty much any break in between. Just be warned, this is going to start the end. If you guys want, go feel free to gear up a snack and a drink, uh, whatever you want. But we're about to strap in and get to the final cutscenes. Thank you for coming, madame. Her grace is most eager to speak with you. If you require a moment to compose yourself before your audience, you may have it. Or, if you are ready, it would be my honor to escort you to her grace's chambers forthwith. Alright, um, real quick before I click, I just want to see. Alright, I can't do it just yet. Upon proceeding to the Sultana's bedchamber, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these cutscenes in their entirety. Yes. I want to uh, let the cutscenes play without me clicking, so I'm going to unfortunately hit the the button real quick, or at least I'm going to try. Yes. Okay. There we go. All right. It's just going to play automatically from now on. Enter. Your grace, your guest has arrived. Pray, come in, and take your ease. It is well that the steps of faith held against the Horde. And what of the city proper? We sustained some few losses, but the heart of our nation yet beats with vigor. I am not certain I could say the same had we not received your most generous aid. An attack on Ishgard is an attack on the realm. We stand together or fall divided. Such noble words, after the fact. I had hoped to speak in the presence of her grace, but it seems she has been delayed. That being the case, now would seem as good a time as any. Honored friends, Pray allow me to convey Ishgard's warmest gratitude for your part in the defense of our lands. Tis upon the success of this very alliance that my recommendation to throw open the gates of judgment shall be founded. 
With the blessing of the Archbishop, it is my hope that Ishgard will soon be reunited with her long estranged sister nations, and that Eorzea shall once more be as one. Very well. Is Artemis? Nothing to worry about. I shall return anon. a word, Yu Yu Hase? You may go. Your Grace. be curious as to the reason for this private audience. The matter I would discuss, however, will soon make apparent the need for discretion. I intend to abdicate the throne and dissolve the monarchy. You have seen for yourself the storm of turmoil that howls through our streets. The government fails in its responsibilities, and my subjects suffer the consequences of our incompetence. But I will see them suffer no longer. The victory feast shall provide the stage on which I declare the dissolution of the Sultanate. It is mine intent that the ruling class of our golden city should take its place beside the common man in a fair and equitable republic. No more shall this nation bow to the whims of a privileged few. Yet, that which I propose will entail the tearing up of this city's very foundations. And even Roban, with all his strength and influence, will be hard-pressed to keep his footing on such treacherous ground. Thus would I ask you to lend him a steadying hand. You who have endured the wrath of innumerable foes are the one hero in whom I can place my trust. Will you do this thing for me? I am truly grateful. More grateful than I can well express. Much of my dread for the coming days has been quieted. Thank you. 
<gasps> Your Grace! Her Grace, the Sultana, is dead. Poison in her wine? You! You did this! Spare us your denials! I see no other suspects, and the room has but the one entrance. I hereby accuse you of regicide! Men, arrest this viper! Sir, barring a few exceptions, we have detained all those with allegiance to the Scions. The Rising Stones is also under our control. And what do you hope to achieve with this mutiny? Why, that which we have striven for all along, Commander. The salvation of Eorzea. What is the meaning of this? Knights from the homeland? This cannot bode well. Lord Commander, we have received an urgent message from the Holy See. I am grieved to report that your serpentine foes have resumed their assault. Needless to say, your presence is urgently required. These knights have come to bear you swiftly home to Ishgard. A surprise attack. We've had no such word from our men, and the timing is most fortuitous to catch us away from the city. Most fortuitous indeed. Lord Commander, we must away! You have been a most gracious host. I hope that I might one day return the favor. Come, Lucia. Whatever is going on in there? Ah, the ever-dutiful brass blades. I must apologize, but my dance guard is rather full. Another time, perhaps? Thancred, of the Scions of the Seventh Door. You stand accused of committing acts of espionage in service to the Galian Empire. Espionage? 
What in the seven hells are you talking about? Ah, if you're referring to that business with the Ultima weapon, then you must understand I, I wasn't myself. Under interrogation, an Imperial prisoner revealed your involvement in numerous dealings with the enemy. We've also been investigating reports that you are a practitioner of forbidden arts. You best come along with us. You invite me to your party and now you want me to leave? I do so detest receiving mixed signals. Come then. I believe I've lost my appetite for this farce of a celebration. Too far, Lord Adelegi. By what right do you march armed soldiers into a royal banquet and eject state visitors without her grace's consent? You treat the brass blades as your personal army and show contempt for the throne with your every act. Leave us now. Is that an order, General? Mayhap you have mistaken me for one of your flames! You will find I am not so slavishly obedient! <laughs> As you lecture me on personal armies! As for your outrageous claim that I have shown contempt for the throne, let all here observe that it was not I who feasted while an assassin removed its occupant. I expect this is your idea of defending the nation, is it? This and diluting our forces through these distractions in Cartano and Curthus. I do begin to see how the ranks of the immortal flames came to be riddled with Garlean sympathizers. You are plainly unfit for command. Wait. Wait, gods damn you. Your words make no sense. What assassin? You mean to say you don't know? We caught the vaunted champion of the Scions in Her Grace's private chambers, not moments after the deed was done. No! No, this cannot be! Save your breath! You will need it to plead your case. You and your entire order are to be tried for this atrocity. in the prisoner. This woman stands accused of poisoning Her Royal Majesty Nanamu Unamo and is suspected accessories to the crime all members of the Scions of the Seventh Dawn will be detained for questioning. This is madness! What a pity. Who'd have thought your tale would end like this? Should you demand further proof, a vial with traces of the substance used to poison her grace was found upon the assassin's person. How very convenient. You would speak of convenience? Who persuaded Her Grace to host this celebration? A diversion which presented you and your confederates ample opportunity to commit the crime, and a crowd within which to fade from view. A more convenient occasion I could scarcely imagine. How dare you, after all we have done for Uldar! 
Hold your tongue, witch. I'll not be ensorcelled. I know all about the dark gift that you and your disciples wield. Oh, yes. I've observed how you worked upon the minds of the Alliance leaders, bending them to your will. And what of your cordial relationship with Sir Emmerich? For years, Ishgard abjured all contact with the outside world, and now the Lord Commander of the Temple Knights treats you with the familiarity of a childhood friend. I'll tell you what I think. I think this desperate defense of Ishgard was but a ruse to deceive us into dividing our forces. Your next move will be to charm your Curthen allies into invading our lands. Now that is truly ridiculous. How do you even think of this stuff? She... she cannot be dead. Stand aside, Ilbert. I want to see the Sultana. Spare yourself the pain, brother. I saw her with my own eyes. For a mercy, the poison took her swiftly. Her handmaiden can attest to that. This cannot be. Nanamo. Nanamo. No! the royalists can no longer be relied upon to keep our nation safe. And so it falls to the monetarists of the Syndicate to govern Uldar. But should you wish to help us, General, we would be more than happy to entrust the task of planning Her Grace's funeral to you. It seems only right that you should bury your precious Sultana, and we will be glad to be rid of that burden. I'll bet you will. You more than any man. Whatever do you mean? I mean you had her killed, you black-hearted bastard! <laughs> what rot! <laughs> Though I did have sufficient motive, it is true. That young lady caused me no end of grief. She always was a most unwilling puppet. I dare say her grace was grateful that someone thought to cut her strings. You would mock her, then mock her from hell! What? Have you lost your mind, General? It is forbidden to draw steel in the royal chambers, much less slaughter our fellow Syndicate members. <gasps> You're one of them! You've been in league with the Scions all along! You! You're next to scheming bastard! Admiral, we must leave. Ah. Uh. 
How unlike you, old friend. I did not expect to take your arm so easily. Take the Scions into custody. They have conspired to commit regicide. And arrest this traitor as well. Ilbert, I hope you choke on their coin. Tis better than the dirt I've supped on these long years. We can't all abandon Alamigo and become great war heroes as you have. You are not the man you once were, Roban. Since that girl strapped the yoke around your neck, you've become docile. She took the mad bull and cut off his balls, and a bull that cannot rot is fit for naught but slaughter. Shall I tell you who really killed your precious Sultana? It was me. You... You die! I never doubted you, not for a moment. But there is more to this than I yet understand. Flee this place. Clear your names. Find out who is behind this plot. It is the only way. Now go! Ah, there you are. Sancred, where have you been? Avoiding the fumbling advances of some very persistent admirers. When I realized the celebrations had turned sour, it seemed prudent to slip away and take stock of the situation. It would appear that much of the city is already under tight guard. It occurs to me that expanding the Brass Blade's authority may not have been such a wonderful idea after all. The success of this plan was contingent upon those thugs having the run of the place. Just how long has this scheme been in motion? The careful preparations, the maneuvering of forces. I am inclined to agree with the General's insistence that a deeper plot exists here. So, would I be right in thinking we now have an excuse to pummel as many brass blades as we like? Unless you plan on pummeling them all, I'm not sure that will greatly aid our cause. The Sultana's assassination was but one part of the scheme. We too were its targets. 
And though we did not share Pornanimo's fate, we are yet hobbled by the charges laid at our door. Where now might we seek refuge? Where indeed, we may safely assume that our foe is thought to have the Rising Stones watched. Forgive me for stating the obvious, but our choice of destination will matter little if we cannot secure an escape route out of Ulda. Happily, I believe I can provide one. Papashan once told me about the passages hidden in the walls of the palace. If I recall correctly, the fireplace in Anima's chambers conceals the entrance to a tunnel. It should lead outside the city and allow us to avoid any messy confrontations. If you go on ahead, I'll handle this lot. By yourself? Oh, I suppose I shall just have to join you. Crystal Braves too, huh? Now this should be interesting. Ida! Papalimo! We will hold our pursuers here. Hurry, now! Find this tunnel of Thancreds! Minfilia, we cannot linger! Look what you've done! Ida, are you all right? There are just too many of them! I'm fine. I could do this all day. How about you? Nearing the end of my tether. between this realm and the evil that's trying to destroy it. And if you think we'll leave the stewardship of Eorzea to the likes of your masters, then you're solely mistaken. Sorry I dragged you into this, Popolimo. Tis hardly the first time, and I'll be damned if it will be the last. Let 
Let them have it, Ida! I was hoping you'd say that. I never knew such a watercourse existed beneath Uldar. The architecture is of the Sildeen style, if I'm not mistaken. The ancients plainly foresaw the need for a ready means of escape. Didn't take long. It seems these tunnels were not as secret as I'd hoped. You two go on ahead. Thancred and I will deal with this. Wha what do you mean to do? Only that which is required to ensure that the dawn's light survive to brighten the morrow. Fear not, Antecedent. You haven't seen the last of these fair features. My friends... Leave us! What is the plan, milady? Shall I take the dozen on the left and you the dozen on the right? The odds are not exactly stacked in our favor. Numbers will count for little when I bring the tunnel down upon their heads. Though I cannot say I relish the thought of being entombed with you for all eternity. You wound me. I will have you know that many a maid would kill for the chance to spend forever at my side. Now, may I have the last dance? Going splendidly. Now would be a good time, my lady. Tis done. I must remain behind, but you cannot stay with me.
Please, you must go on. You are the warrior of light. You are hope for the Scions and for all the realm. As long as your flame continues to burn, the light of the dawn may ever be relit. You must escape and save Eorzea from those who would plunge it into darkness. Tis the only way. I am glad to see you safe, my friend. What of the others? Damn that man! Taleji played me for a fool! I thought the Crystal Brave's mine till the very moment I felt the blade at my back. There will be ample time for soul searching later. For now, we must put some moms between us and Ulda. Well, would you look who it is? Need a ride? I doubt it'll be half as exciting as the last trip we took. Not if I have anything to say about it anyway. Let's not dawdle, eh? All aboard! Supplies over in Vesper Bay, you see, when your sister come up and begged a favor. Said her brother was having some trouble down in Ulda and likely needed a helping hand getting away. I think in them ruins would make a fine hiding place, I decided to try there first. And lo and behold, there you were! Aye, and judging by them soldiers as were pouring out of the city, I arrived not a moment too soon. Must have been fate that we happened to find you there, though, eh? I had thought to look out for Alize, but what appears she was the one watching over me. I've made such a mess of things. And who might you be, young sir?
Pippin Taupin, Vice Marshal of the Immortal Flames. I had been on the Alamegan front these past few moons, but an urgent communication called me back to Uldar. Scarce had my boots touched the cobbles, though, when the streets erupted with cries of assassination. I immediately went in search of answers, and came across Master Alfino here. Needless to say, I did not think his imprisonment justified. The blame plainly lies with the Monetarists. Their greed and corruption are well known to me, but for them to take advantage of the situation with such alacrity... Was that Pippin, you said? Ain't that the name of General Alden's lad? Yes, I am his son. Adopted, of course. It was only as we were leaving Uldar that I learned of father's fate. Once I have seen you a safe distance away, I mean to return to the city and extricate him from this madness. Then you needn't travel no further than Blackbrush. Our fugitives have a friend waiting for them there. I dreamed of bringing about Eorzea's salvation, but in the end... Was I who needed saving? Them soldiers keep him searching for a while yet. Reckon we'll take the carriage back towards Ulda and get the lay of the land. Maybe for a ride, a distraction, if need be. You three wait here. Help will be along shortly. Stay strong, friends. The real fight's to come. Alright, let's go. Don't be fooled, we're not done yet. The most unassuming folk can provide to be our greatest allies. The greater the fellow was but a passing merchant, yet he lent us aid without a moment's hesitation or any hint of concern for his own safety. Though I can well imagine how a man could feel inspired to risk all in your presence. Father spoke of you often, Nia, and, the, and long have I looked forward to our first meeting. Needless to say, this is not at all how I envisioned it. Master Alfino, you must not give in to despair. That would only play into our enemy's hands. So long as you and Nia are free, we may still set things right. Forgive me, Marshal Tarpon. But I... Alfino, my boy! Sorry to keep you waiting! Oh, there he is. Sid, what are you doing here? Pulling you out of the fires as usual. Your merchant friend told me everything. Truly, then he is no merchant but an angel in peddler's clothing. But tell us, how did you intend to bear our friends to safety? I hid the Enterprise but a short distance away. All I need is a destination. We must find a place beyond the reach of both the Monitorist and the Crystal Braves. Corthus! Ishgard will not suffer the intrusion of foreign forces in their territory. That settles it. With me, everyone. Not I, I fear. I must remain here. I dare not abandon Ulda to the Monitorist and their cronies. You may be certain that they, uh, that they will seek to defame you, both here and in the other city-states, but know that I shall do my utmost to thwart their every effort. Frankly, I do not expect it to be much of a challenge. The small folk will not turn so easily on the Warrior of Light and her allies, no matter what the Monitorists claim. Marshal Taupin, I... I know not what to say. Ha! Huh. Now that father, 
Now that father would labor to believe, but enough... What? Ha, huh, now that father would labor to believe? Okay, sure, I guess... I guess that's what it says. Uh, but enough talk, you must go, Master Alfino. Your airship awaits. Up, up, there's no rest for the righteous. We should make for Camp Dragonhead and speak with Willard Hashafont. Mayhap, mayhaps he will know what to do. We are still not done. Until you see that achievement pop and that final credits roll, don't you dare click away. There's still more to come. That's my, that much is for sure. Yeah, there's uh, even, I believe, something after the credits, so I, I won't be watching the credits, we'll, we'll skip over that, but there's still more to come. Um, there's like a final like text crawl or something of that nature, so don't just think like, okay, this starts Heaven's War. Like, no, we still have this, the parting glass, as our main scenario quest, so not quite done just yet. Master Alfino told me of your tale, Mia. It warms my heart that you should turn to me before all others. I shall endeavor to, uh, to deserve your trust. Alas, the situation here has grown more complicated in your absence. It would be best if I explained in full. Before the dawn, in times of trouble, there are few things more precious than an unconditional support. There has been word from the capital. Ishgard has weathered another assault, and tis said several wyverns broke through into the city proper. The Temple Knights succeeded in slaying the beasts, but the intrusion prompted orders to further strengthen the guard, and to place the city under a perpetual state of alert. How keenly we feel the loss of our wards at the Gates of Judgment. Yet we must not bemoan our misfortune, Sir Emmerich is safely returned from Uldar, and once more leads the defense of Ishgard. As for the matter of your asylum, I am afraid no progress will be made until the threat to our nation is diminished. But do not despair. You are not without allies. You are more than welcome to shelter here for as long as you wish. Pray. Think of it as a new headquarters of sorts. The falling snows, or some such. All frivolity aside, any who come here in search of you will receive no aid from House Fortong. For once, the Ishgardian reputation for inhospitality shall work in our favor. Agents of Uldar will find their every inquiry dismissed and their every request for entry rebuffed, until such time as their masters have acknowledged your innocence. You once fought to preserve the honor of my dear friend. Tis a blessing that I may now repay that debt in kind. But let us dwell no more on this. 
Pray, join the rest of your companions. Tis bitterly cold this day. I suspect there are those who might welcome the warmth your presence brings. Truly incredible. Like, I cannot get over how well that cutscene, those cutscenes were. I just flabbergasted, and the story of it, it just, like, left me speechless, truly and honestly, from, like, where we started to where they are now is out of this world. Greetings, madame. Shall I show you inside? Upon proceeding into the Intercere, several cutscenes will play in sequence. It is recommended that you set aside sufficient time to view these cutscenes in their time. Yes. Alfino, Nia, is it really you? Uh, I'm so happy that that you're. <laughs> I tried contacting Minfilia and the others, but none would respond. And then the Crystal Braves, our own people, turned on us in the marketplace. Flamen told me to run, and so I did. I ran, and I ran until my lungs burned and my feet ached, but I lost my way, and then... Fortunately, I had observed some of the Braves behaving suspiciously beforehand. Oh, it's Lady Nugiri! Hmm? Ah, yes, my mask. It was lost in the struggle. Pretty, isn't she? Anyways, after Yagiri found me, we traveled to Vesper Bay and met up with, with Urianje. When we told him what had happened, he used his magics to weave a glamour around the waking sands. From the outside, our old headquarters now looks like an abandoned storehouse. The transformation didn't take long either. Apparently, Urianje started making preparations after the Imperial attack, just in case the Empire ever chose to pay us another visit. Good thinking, eh? Sorry, where was I? Oh yes, so we waited there at the Waking Sands, hoping others would come, but no one else did. My people were searching for the other Scions, are searching for the other Scions, even as we speak, but we have met with no success as yet. I had hoped that you might be able to suggest further places to look. Ah, but you should know, the Rising Stones did not share the Waking Sands' good for fortune, only Crystal Braves await you there. Be that as it may, we yet have cause to hope, do we not? If the two of you escaped, that it's not impossible that the others could have done so as well. You may have been forsaken by men and women believed true, but rest assured that the people of Doma yet stand with you. We welcome this opportunity to repay our debts and shall continue our efforts to locate the others and see the Scions restored to their rightful place of honor. Tis all my doing. I believed myself the only one who truly understood Eorzea's woes. And look what that arrogance has wrought. I gave commands, influenced governments with my certainty. I treated the Crystal Braves and even the Scions themselves as pawns in my great scheme to save the realm. But in my headlong rush into imagined glory, I paid no heed to the ground upon which I trod. The salvation of Eorzea. What was it that I hoped to achieve? Did I believe that I could rid the realm of every danger and difficulty? That I could defeat the Empire and the Asians, And find homes for every refugee? Oh yes, I was so very clever. Become a guardian of Eorzea, I implored, and sat back to watch my perfect army cleanse the land of chaos. It was all but a means to feed my own vanity. 
Only when all is lost do I finally realize the truth. Oh, Alfino. So, Master Alfino, are you content to remain a broken blade? Is there no flame hot enough to reforge you? What of the fine companions who yet stand at your side? I dare say the fires of their determination will soon have you slicing the air again with your customary wit. I hardly deserve such friendship. And besides, where are we to go? Of our purpose, then, then we shall go to Ishgard. Minfilia told me many times, as long as we stand fast against despair, the beacon of hope will never be lost to sight. Be it in the snow or in the clouds, we few will see that the dawn's light shines again. <laughs> <laughs> you are right, Totoro. Thank you. And thank you for your kind words, Lord Orshfong. Tis true that Eorzea yet has her guardians. The Scions have achieved much, and would be remiss of me to discard it all in a fit of self-pity. Let us then resume our journey, together, one step at a time. Alright, so this is where the credits would now roll, uh, as you will see in just a second. Uh, it's not just a black screen here. Uh, so we're just going to skip those, and there is a cutscene right after this, though. been arranged as you desired, my lord. Nabrielis is no more. The ardor was not in his invoke, was not his to invoke. His demise was his own making. Nevertheless, it concerns me. They have extinguished that which should rightly be eternal. Mayhaps he was not wholly mistaken. Greater haste may be warranted. We are of one mind. The northern lands, then? The earth is fertile, and the seeds well sown. By my will, they shall reap salvation unlike any the world has known. By his will. By his will.
I have answered thy summons, emissary. Speak, and make thine intent known. I would speak of fate, Harkon. Yours, mine, the fate of this very star. Sanctuary lieth beyond delusion, despair, death. Thou shalt find naught else here. To preserve the dawn's light, the heroes journeyed north. Their hearts filled with hope, and their eyes fixed heavensward. And there you go, the achievement has popped, and we should load in. This is where <laughs> the next heavensward mission starts, coming to Ishgard. We will not be doing that, uh, because we will be taking a bit of a break. I have played a lot of Final Fantasy XIV in the few weeks and months that I've been posting it up on the channel, and I'm ready for a bit of a break, try something else. I will continue to play the game on my own, but uh, as far as this channel is concerned, you will be seeing other gameplay and commentaries coming up for you. Uh, I don't want my channel just to be Final Fantasy XIV. So I hope you guys have enjoyed all of this. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. Truly and honestly, this has been one of the most fun things I've done in a long, long time. And I'm excited to know what you guys think of it as well. All right, y'all. As always, I just want to wish you a great day. I want to thank you for being so awesome and supporting this series. And most of all, I want to wish you a farewell. Peace out. And much love to you.